Hello, my name is Adam and I'm a partner at Herbert Parkinson in Lancashire where we make your John Lewis 7 day service roller blinds. In this video I will demonstrate how to fit your roller blind. If you have purchased a spring operated blind, these come pre-tensioned and ready to hang. However, if adjustment should be needed, I will show you how to do this shortly. Please read all fitting instructions and warning labels carefully before use to ensure safe and satisfactory operation of your blind. It is recommended that your blind be fitted by persons competent in DIY. Carefully unwrap your roller blind and its associated brackets. The brackets are universal and can be fixed in a top, face or side fixed position. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will be using the side fixed position, but the process is exactly the same for all. Your fixing brackets may vary depending on the size of your blind. Please refer to the fitting instructions supplied. Measure the fabric to work out the distance required between each bracket. Add to this a total allowance for the control and idle end of 35mm. This total will be the measurement from the outside of one bracket to the outside of the other bracket. Use the measurement to position your brackets whether inside or outside of the recess. Mark the hole positions before drilling and plugging if necessary. Use two screws in each bracket ensuring that the brackets are level. Remember to allow room for the blind to clear any obstacles, for example window handles or doors. Ensure the brackets match the idle and control end of the blind. Once the brackets have been fitted, then the blind can be inserted. With the fabric rolled around the tube, offer the idle end to the idle end bracket. With the idle end in place, offer the control end to the opposite bracket and secure the blind in place. To operate the blind, remove the paper sleeve. For a conventional roll blind, pull the chain downwards with a smooth and steady pressure. Reverse this action to lift the blind. For a spring operated blind, pull down from the centre cord. For child safety, your blind will be supplied with two easy brake connectors attached to the operating chain 200mm apart. This ensures that at least one of them will be in the vertical position ensuring they perform as required. If excessive weight is applied within the loop, a connector will break apart. If an easy brake connector comes apart, then it will need to be reconnected. Check for damage and then reconnect. For safety reasons, do not tie cords together. Make sure cords do not twist and create a loop. Please note, for chain operated blinds, the head rail should not be installed less than 1.5 meters from the floor. I will now demonstrate how to retention your spring operated roller blind. Extend the blind to the lowest position. You may have to keep your thumb on the pin and turn the spring slightly until you feel the pin click into place. With the idle end of the roll blind remaining in the bracket, release the spring end and roll up your blind by hand. When the blind is fully secure in both brackets, gently release the locking pin. Check the tension of your blind by pulling it down gently. If the required level of tension has not been achieved, you may have to repeat this process again. I hope you have found this demonstration useful and that you are happy with your John Lewis purchase.